I'm expecting an LD5 today. I shouldn't be, because we don't have that many LD scrolls, but we've been getting so many LD5s for people that we summoned for lately. Today, we're here on Potato1005's account on the Europe server. Today, we are going to be su Today, we're going to be summoning. You guys probably figured that out, right? Uh, we have 54... 54 LD scrolls. We have plenty of other scrolls. Let's get it started. I was looking at uh, this. Yeah, <laughs> make sure it's the right window. I was looking at that. Uh, this, oh, we did the tent. Whatever, we did the tent pull. It's the same. It's the same bad games. It's just 40 bad games, one after another, after another, after another. I suppose Arclight Rumble, uh, well, I know some, for some of you, uh, Summoner's War Chronicles is going to be one of the ones you're looking forward to, but <laughs> I have to say like that, oh, one of the ones you're looking forward to, I don't know why, uh, but I mean, it's already out in some regions, it's not doing anything crazy, people are not raving about it, it's, also, we've looked at it, we've looked at it, other people have looked at it on their channels as well, and it's... There's not a whole lot of... It's it's just already been surpassed by so many games that have already come out. And it's not even out yet. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to struggle. Well, it's not going to struggle. It's, it's going to have... Here's the thing. The people that are... Why are we complaining about Summoner's War Chronicles? The people that are playing Summoner's War, that are casuals, that might want to get into a Summoner's War-style MMO with uh, cryptocurrency... And NFTs, they're they're they are interested in playing Summoner's War Chronicles. Um, the people that are not already into Summoner's War and the Summoner's War franchise, uh, hey, more metal lines. That's gonna be a hard sell for them because you 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 go into it, and we've already done side by side comparisons. Other people have done side by side comparisons as well. It's not just my opinion. Going into it, it looks like just a not as high fidelity not as polished version of lots of different things that have already come out so you know i'll i'll stop i'll let you guys play it when it comes out i told i told my girlfriend the same thing because she's like she's like i'm gonna play it when it comes out I'm like, okay. uh, i'm just not gonna talk to you that week i didn't say that but whatever but I probably will not talk to her that week. And then she'll be like, you're... Actually, I don't... That's not going to be a thing. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to be stuck hearing about Summoner's War Chronicles. Oh, God. Maybe I'll listen to a lot of loud music and blow my eardrums out. And then I won't have to hear about it. This is a solid plan, guys. Is, I just... I... 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 I I don't know. I don't know what to say, aside from that I'm really just waiting for it to be released and then behind us. <laughs> Some people are like, ah, oh, oh, I, I don't think Counter is going to do very well in the future. But again, it will, uh, it will get people to at least download and try it out that are into the Summoner's War lore and the Summoner's War franchise. But aside from that, it's going to be a hard sell. It's going to be a hard sell to the greater population. Cause it's just another, I mean, like, there's so many MMOs that have come out. So many, so many, so many, so many, and it doesn't, that's why they had to, well, they wanted to put NFTs because extra money, right? But, uh, that's why they had to, they had to do something. They had, to, they had to make it, uh, NFT crypto integration, blockchain integration because they needed some kind of selling point because if they, if they didn't put something else in there, then people are just going to compare it and they're like, well, why should I play this versus anything like Tower of Fantasy came out? It's already doing like. I got to stop complaining. I got to stop complaining. I'm just I'm just saying. I'll let you guys play for yourself or not play for yourself, whatever you want. And, and you can decide just at least play it next to like five other competitors. Play those, and then play uh, Chronicles, and see, and and, and see what you, you think side by side. <laughs> I'm confident enough in that you're going to come to the, the conclusion that uh, the the same conclusion as uh, as I do. So we also have Warcraft, 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 Arclight Rumble, 
coming soon ish i don't know when it exactly is coming so, like that seems like the like that and and harry potter still seem like the only exciting things or the yeah like the only exciting thing rainbow six mobile uh, i don't know how many people are going to be playing rainbow six mobile everything else is like garbage or games that have come out we're just we're, we're always in this spot with mobile games and it seems like we get a I mean we do get a lot of mobile games there's a, just a lot of uh reskin of reskin of reskin of reskin of whatever um but sometimes they just re-release re the same exact game <laughs> it's like over and over and over again I think Arc Light, uh, Arc Knight Rumble will be one of the fun ones to come out I think Rainbow Six I think Harry Potter Magic Awakened I think there's some other stuff but yeah, I don't know. I just know Warcraft and Harry Potter, they're going to have plenty of microtransactions. They're, they're, they're going to be full of loot boxes. Full of loot boxes. You could already tell. You could already tell these are things that uh, you got to get the get the cards, get the units, and then you have to upgrade them, and then upgrade them again. And then but this one's better, but it's more rare, and then it's so hard to get the upgrades for this one. So you have to keep opening and opening and opening loot boxes, but... Those, and those are the best games that are coming out. Those are, those are the uh, <laughs> those are the best. I'll, I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about, so you guys know what I'm uh, you guys know what I'm saying when I say like these. Are, this is what's uh, so we got this right. This is uh, Rainbow Six. Not bad. You know it's gonna have loot boxes. You know it is, but it looks yeah pretty good. If you guys like uh, if you guys like that, we got Arc Knight Arc Arc Light. Gonna keep saying that name wrong. Yeah, but it's like a tower defense kind of. Uh, you know what? It reminds me of. Um, let's let's continue doing summons while we're, while we're doing this. It reminds me of the. Can I actually show you guys this, or did I just? Uh, yeah. There we go. If I didn't already show you guys, I thought I did, but I thought maybe I didn't uh, click on the thing. So, and then we have the Harry Potter Magic Awakened. This is the one. I I played this. I actually played the... The Thailand version? I keep forgetting what the version. But it's... It's it's pretty fun. It's it's pretty... In, I mean, there are... This, this, again, it's the same thing. as you got to collect the things. And then they got to keep opening Super Magic Harry Potter loot boxes to upgrade the cards. But the it, it's not bad for gameplay. And for like hanging out around Hogwarts and stuff. It's actually pretty decent. It's significantly better than the other Harry Potter games that have come out on, on mobile, at least. So, at least that's a, uh, <laughs> a positive. So, it's going to be expensive, and China's already two years. Two years, right? China's two years ahead of us in that game, so there's no catching up. Two years! <laughs> there's no catch. I'm pretty sure it's two years. Hold on. I uh, this this no one of these days. Why is this not coming out? Harry Potter video games. No, I mean I guess we could find that through here, but I want to see Harry Potter magic. Yeah, this is what. Uh, I don't know. Now I'm just Googling things. I don't even care what we're recording a video. I'm just Googling things. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, it's not It's not two years. It is one year in China. I don't know if it was released in other regions before China, though, actually, come to think of it. I know, I keep mentioning China with that because it was setting crazy, uh, I don't know, oh man, was it setting crazy records? It was making a, a metric ton of money. Like, it was making a ridiculous amount of money in China. I don't know if it was actually setting records or if I just want to say it was setting records. So I don't want to misspeak and give you guys incorrect uh, data, but it was making a crazy amount of money.
Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do the pulls. China's most successful game. Okay. Uh, Harry Potter Magic Awakened is China's most successful game launch this year. Maybe not setting you know records, but most successful of the year. Uh, money, money, money. Show me the money. Show me. <laughs> that's my that's my uh, Jared McGuire impression. Um, Harry Potter Magic Awakened contributed to Nettie's strong performance. I mean, it's Nettie's, so we know loot boxes. Um, strong performance in its most recent financial quarter, with the company's reporting online games revenue of 2.47 billion. So, but where is the actual Harry Potter? Uh, does it have? In the first two months, it made 228 million. In the first two months. So in on on a limited launch, not not even worldwide, on limited launch, 228 million in the first two months. That's a that's a lot of money. And I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> that is a lot of money. That is correct. That's a lot of money. So. Can't, I mean, I, I, I want to say it can't be that bad if it made that much money, but, you know, there's been bad games that made crap tons of money before, so. Uh, or, I guess, maybe bad and good is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, what do we get? More cookies. Uh, what does he want? He wants any art master. I don't know what else he's looking for. We can feed dupes. I mean, we'd have to get a Nat 5 first. Let me save all the Nat 5s for the LD scrolls. That's what it is. We're getting plenty of cookies. I still have not built all the cookies yet. I should do that right now. Uh, well, I should do that. I sh I I have been. I have been. There's uh, what we did. How many? How many videos did we do? How many cookie videos did we do? I don't know. Some. <laughs> so we did. We did some cookie videos. Um. I think I built five myself at. No, it's probably more than that. Maybe six. I don't know. I don't know how many. There's a lot that I just don't have. And there's a lot that I don't have scallops for. So I was trying to get the scallops for them first and then uh, and then do videos. But at this point, like everyone's already done, you know, anything past uh, three days, it's pointless to do videos on for any new, any new stuff because it's already old news. That's how the internet works. That's how the internet works. If it's a week old, it's old. <laughs> Speaking of Harry Potter Magic Awaken being a year old. Yeah, that's uh that's that's gonna That's really gonna punish the the global launch, but it always does. They still do it, but it always punishes the global launch. And then people in global can't get behind it. They're like can't get too excited about it because it's like, well, they're already ahead of us. So they're already a year ahead of us. Not two years, one year ahead of us, so. Yeah. So, I suppose Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. Uh, I'm just gonna play Blizzard games. At least I know that I can get access to them when they come out. I'll try to suck up to someone at Blizzard. I don't know anyone at Blizzard. And there's enough people sucking up to uh, Blizzard that I don't think I would have a chance in hell. That's sad. I think, I think basically the the game plan now going forward is there's just too many people with too many connections that like trying to get into one of the big games before it comes out is you're not going to because it's a uh, kind of an inner circle kind of situation. So, hey, more cookies. So, I think the I think the big thing that I'm going to try to do is find good games that people don't realize are good yet. And by the time they re by the time the greater greater populace realizes they're good, we already have like hundreds of videos on them. So, I don't know. That's that's just my imagination. That's just going to be my imagination. Hey, we got some more cookies. What? <laughs> We still don't have net fives. How many summons did we do? How many cookies do we have? These are these are the real questions. My monster. We got a couple cookies out. We got a couple cookies in. 
Still would like to see some more cookies. So would like to see some more cookies. It's a weird way of saying that. Uh, there is a game coming out on Steam called Justice Sucks Tactical Vacuum Action. So you play as a little robot vacuum. Stealth action game about a killer robot vacuum cleaner. This is this is an actual game. This is not my imagination. This is not I'm not making things up. This is an actual game. Uh, kill robot va vacuum cleaner on a quest for indie games are so weird, man. <laughs> quest for vengeance through a 90s TV universe. Stalk your prey, hack smart devices, turn them into deadly traps, consume the blood of your enemies to unleash devastating powers. That's right. That's a game. Can we see a better? Yeah, let's take a look at this. There's the little robot vacuum cleaner. So, that's a that's a game, guys. <laughs> that's that's a game. What else do we have? The same things as last week. The same things that we. Oh my God! What? What? Uh, what is this? I was gonna say an F word, but I I didn't. I was nice. We got NBA 2K23. Okay, so that's going to be just the best game of the uh, of the next... Oh, it's coming out in two days from the time I'm recording this. NBA 2K23. It also doesn't look new. Is that That's weird. This does not look like a new game. Is it just these screenshots? I don't know. Are they, are they using bad screenshots? I feel like it should look better than that. Maybe it's just the screenshots. Or maybe this guy's face just looks like it's made of polygons in real life and it was an accurate representation. Okay, that could that could be it. That could be it. We have uh this is a game called Oh my god. No, I don't wanna I don't want this. What is this? This is a game. Hold on, guys. We need we need to all see this. It's called Kaiju, the Kaiju Dating Sim. So, uh, yeah. That's exactly what you would expect from this. I I I I I think I think I'm done with video games. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. We're going to delete the channel tomorrow. I think I'm done. I think, I think we've exhausted, we've exhausted, I'm exhausted, we're all exhausted. We've exhausted all of the opportunities for uh, video games when we, we go to Kaiju Dating Sims. Why, why does this exist? Why is this a thing? Why do we need this? Why, how many people are looking for something like this? Is this like, <laughs> cause you know, supply and demand, so. So there's a mark. There's got to be a market for people that want giant Godzilla monsters to uh, to bang. So so I guess that's I guess that's that. I think I think video. I think I I think I'm done with video games. I think I'm done with video games. I'm gonna go uh, mow lawns for a living. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. Speaking of done with video games, I, I love that we are still not getting any... Still not getting anything fun. When we're, get, we're getting lightning, we're getting four stars, but... You know. So many screens just sitting here, sitting here, just 20 minutes! 20 minutes sitting here, standing here, whatever. Summoning things, waiting for fun monsters to come out. We gotta make a rule and uh, for, from now on of no more mystical scrolls, cause nothing comes out of them, and we just sit here waiting. It's like, hey, there's another three star. There's another three star. And eventually, we get to the LDs, and then there's just three stars and disappointment. We just need a new rule. No, no more summons. That's that's the new rule. Have we really, have we really come that far? <laughs> oh. I, I just don't know anymore. 
see this is this is why people miss the good old days this is this is why people are like oh i want the nostalgic 90s blah 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 it's like because everything here nowadays is just nonsense it's just nonsense with microtransactions and garbage in it so i know i've offended people that wanted the kaiju dating okay uh, the kaiju dating sim i get that that could be a fun story to enjoy and get a laugh out of Please don't take it seriously. I know people are going to be like, No, I'm taking it very seriously. I am very invested in the relationships of these giant monsters. That's the thing that I, I think a lot of people don't understand. Or a, a lot of maybe developers don't understand in the, in the business world. They're like, oh, people miss the retro games. So let's make pixel art things with bad graphics. It's like, that's not what they miss. They miss having games that have no microtransactions and don't have downloadable DLC for an extra price and uh I don't know man that's the part that they that's the part that they miss like having to go through and register an account with a certain uh certain game developer to, to play the game that you just spent $60 on that also is going to have more microtransactions in it for new skins and you have to do this for the skins and you have to share on social media otherwise you don't unlock this thing so you have to create a social media account People just want to play games. I, th I think that that's what a lot of people miss. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that misses just like I want to put a game in a little console and then I want to turn it on and then play the game like within 30 seconds. Like that's that's the part that I miss. I don't want to have to go through exposition and, and creating accounts and, and, and settings and switching things and installing and then updating because you install and then you have to make sure because you got to update to the latest version which is basically the same as the uh, version that was installing but it's different because they changed where some of the text is so you have a 350 gigabyte um update for that which is necessary why can't i can't i can't stop i can't stop complaining <laughs> why do i just complain because oh, i'm old because that's what old people do. We just complain all the time. We just complain. Squittershins. You know what? I, I appreciate the fact that uh, you named your company Squittershins. A merrily pearly. A book of beasts and buddies. Why does this seem like this is going to bomb? I don't want to click on this because I'm scared. Interactive bestiary. Of curious creatures. That's nothing. That's that's not even a game. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Every page provides an encounter with a mysterious beast for you to befriend. It's not a game. Okay. I mean, I guess if people like it, it's not really a game though. Are they? Hold on. NBA 2K23, are they still... <laughs> uh, one of the screenshots is Michael Jordan. Of course, Michael Jordan, fantastic basketball player. One of the, I should have trolled you guys. I should have said, fantastic baseball player. One of the best baseball players of all time. Hey, we got an Odin. Not an Odin. We got a Bulwark. Finally. Finally. People just miss the nostalgia, man. NBA 2K23. Michael Jordan uh, hasn't been playing uh, baseball. <laughs> hasn't been playing basketball for so long. Still, they're like, no, NBA 2K23. Got to put Michael Jordan in there. Got to make one of the screenshots, Michael Jordan, because half the people don't know who's playing now. No, I'm sure I, there's plenty of people that know who's, uh, who's playing the NBA now. But just funny. Just funny. It's like, like all the people playing now are like, yeah, I would have loved to be on that screenshot, but you know, Michael Jordan, who stopped playing like a crazy long time ago, uh, you know, let's just stick him in again. Michael Jordan, because Michael Jordan. Next, we're gonna see NBA NBA Two uh, K Twenty Four with Wilt Chamberlain on the cover. Well, he's not on the cover. He's just on like the first. Is he on the first screenshot? He's on the first screenshot of the game. Is Michael Jordan. I 
again, I just think that there's so many people that would have appreciated that screenshot being of them that are currently playing. So this uh, this is a good enough dupe though. He actually doesn't even need well, it, not that you can't put him on violent runes, but he doesn't even need violent runes. Cause, oh my goodness, how many freaks you have? The Kimbe Matumbo one, <laughs> 2K25. Oh man, wasn't he just on something? Like, didn't he just do some kind of TV spotlight or movie cameo or something? In something, I don't know. I feel I feel like he did, but I could also be very wrong. Or I could just be watching old stuff and be like, oh, he just did a movie spotlight. Like, like no, that was from 20 years ago. That's, that's not recent. That's not recent. 17 more mysticals. We only got one net five, and it was a dupe. But I, I feel like it's good enough for Siege that... And I know that he does Siege. Um, not Dikembe Matumbo. I'm, I'm talking about... Uh, I'm talking about Potato does Siege. So I, I think he might appreciate that... Uh, that dupe bulwark. No... What is he missing? Is he missing a lot of He's missing a lot of stuff. Wow. Missing a lot of stuff gets to do both. He's how did he snipe the bulwark? He's missing most things. We don't even need a blessing. Really? People will argue, but I really don't feel like we necessarily need a blessing since most of it's gonna be new regardless. So or blessing would well. I would say maybe two thirds of it is is new, it, the, from what it looks like. So he just happened to get a dupe. So the blessing would be between two new units, but which is not bad. I just think that uh, I I know that he does. He was second in siege contribution for his guild. So so I figure he might enjoy a bulwark, a second bulwark. Right, the Mulver is pretty, uh, pretty solid in siege. I actually don't even have a bulwark on my main. I just assume Bulver is pretty solid in siege. Actually, I know, I know, I know he's solid in siege. I just don't, I don't have one on that account. I have one on Asia, but I, I can't get a good siege for the life of me. Like all the siege battles are like. We're gonna put fire twins and a Garo on defense. It's like why, 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 why is your defense fire twins and Garo? Well, because Garo's got the speed lead for fire units, and then the fire twins are fire units. Really? Tell me more. <laughs> oh, but there's so many people that <laughs> that do stuff like that. I'm talking to so many of them. I know. I know. I see you there. I'm, t I'm talking to you too. So many of you. Like, don't call me out like that. Continue talking about the Kimbe Matumbo and stop trashing my siege defenses. How many times I say rainbow elements and you guys like, Nah, I'm gonna not do that. Rainbow elements, you guys like. Nah, I'll put all fire units. Because all you have to... I mean, you could solo that. You could solo that with... I feel like you sold that with a... Uh, Water Frankenstein. What else? Uh, Water Lich. Uh, Susano. I mean, they all have to have good runes. But you could solo with these things. Hey, Water Demon, I hope this is new. Almost said I hope this is a dupe. I hope this is a dupe. Let's stick these things in storage. And let's see if... If nope or dupe. This looks... Is that or he didn't build it? Either it's new or he didn't care.
Okay, this is this looks new. All right. I see that he's second awakened things, and then not even bothered to six star them. It's just like, hey, uh, second awakened this. So that's all I that's all I needed to do. Not gonna finish building it. How much do we have left? We have like 150 left of the elementals. And then let's let's at least get one more. If we get one more, we'd be on average, right? If we get one more of this. I'm just looking out of the corner of my eye at this NBA 2K23 screenshots, just cycling through. Man, I miss PC games. You know, like actual games. Like actual here's the here's the great thing about mobile games it's it's sarcasm by the way <laughs> i'm just getting you prepared for it it's sar what i'm about to say is sarcastic the great thing about mobile games is that we want to play mobile games we do do we want to play mobile games but then we just wind up playing them on the pc like so many people that play mobile games just play them on the pc if it's not a casual toilet game and it's a game that you like like summoner's war or like epic seven or like what else? I'm trying to think. Like all the, all the different mobile games that are like things that you have to sink a lot of time into. People are just like, no, I'm just gonna play it. like any gotcha RPG where you have to farm like crazy. People are just downloading emulators or playing it on Facebook or whatever, and they're like, yeah, it's a mobile game, but so many people play it on PC. This thing they come to us, <laughs> come to us, wanted us to spend our entire day every day playing Summoner's War, but they. Oh, they didn't release for the longest time. They didn't release a PC. They still don't have a technical, just a PC client on its own. Uh, it's through Facebook or emulators. But, but yeah, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Forget everything you think. They did a they did a PC client. That's why I mentioned. They have their whole uh, player and play thing though. Plarium play. Raid Shadow Legend. I don't know why. I, can't. <laughs> I, I. It's just. It's fun to say. Raid Shadow Legends. It's such a. It's still a meme in my head. It's still a meme in my heart. It's still a meme. Forget everything you think you know about monetization because Raid Shadow Legends is about to blow the doors off your wallet. Blow the doors, blow the flaps. Raid Shadow Legends is about to blow your flaps off. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome for that. All right, can we get some net fives? We already we we played with him the uh, the other day. We just did a video on the Fire Samurai. He's got double A for the for the monster waves of monster nonsense. I think it's just called monster nonsense. Um, they made such a big deal about that subjugation battle. Monster subjugation. Forget everything you think you know about terrible updates. Monster subjugation is about to, <laughs> is about to lower the bar even further. It's available like once a week. And the rewards are just filler that you just have to take two minutes to throw away. So I don't know what the point is. <laughs> I don't know what the point is. More filler. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I... <sighs> update 7 was the, was the worst update we've ever had in Summoner's War. Hands down. Hands down. Uh, worst major update. Major update. So, like, update 2, update 3, update 4, update 5, update 6, update 7. Um... I don't know what they're going to do for update. Man, they really needed to nail this update too. I think I think that they did nail this update. I think that it was the nail in the coffin for Summoner's War Skyrim. Oh, he's angry again. He's talking bad about our overlords again. He's talking bad about... So many people were looking forward to update 7 to see like, okay, this is what's going to, you know, reinvigorate my my fire my my passion for playing summoners war and they're like we took guild wars out and we put fake guild wars for rivals 
And also, we put uh, Inter-Server Guild Wars, World Guild Battle, which is, you don't even have that all the time. You have that like a few times a week. And regular Guild Wars were so, so much more. So now it's like, yeah, you have Inter-Server. Sometimes. You have a giant slime monster that gives you bad rewards. Sometimes. And you just use the same monsters that you use for everything else. You don't build new monsters for it or anything. It was just, it was, it was, it was, it's not, it, it didn't push the game forward at all. It, I feel that it actually took a step back. Guild battle was replaced by another guild battle, which you get less and rival battle, which is garbage. Uh, it's just another chore to do. It's not anything you get excited about. It's just another chore. You put monsters in. You click auto. It doesn't matter what they have on defense. It doesn't matter what you have on offense. You just put monsters in. You click auto. Um, so it's just a chore. Uh, with no with no real reason. Monsters Subjugation is kind of just a, another chore with no real reason. There's just more chores with no real reason or purpose or enjoyment. So, I mean, maybe some people enjoy fighting the giant slime, but I think that is going to be short-lived. I don't think that it's going to be like a long-term enjoyment out of that thing. Unless they change it to a different thing that's not a slime. They're like, it's a, it's a wood this week. They're not going to do that. They, If they were going to do that, they would have done, uh, they would have changed their world boss, which they were supposed to do many times uh, at this point over the past years. <sighs> that was supposed to be continually rotating thing where the world boss element changed many times. Like every every time he went down, another one would pop up with a different element. Did that happen? No, it didn't. Why? Because it wouldn't have been profitable. It I mean it would have been it wouldn't have been unprofitable, but it wouldn't have been like anything that uh, that made them more money. Moss subjugation though is not gonna make them more money. I don't <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't serve any purpose. I wonder how many people they actually lost, though. How many employees? How many of the like the core uh, core employees that they they needed that made Summoners War Sky Arena in the beginning what it is today? How many are just like not there anymore? Obviously, the AI programmer, because I who knows? Maybe he's trapped in a closet for for eight years. Not entirely sure what's uh, what's happening there, but man, where's the AI in any video game ever? Summoners War Sky Arena. I mean, if there's any reason to not play any of their other games, eight years with bad AI. Eight years <laughs> with bad AI. That if there was if if nothing else that. That should be enough. That could be enough. All right. I suppose let's zap some of these trees. Let's jiggle some of these jangles. Should we jiggle cookies? I guess so. Orangey, please. Can we get something fun? Something exciting? Can we get anything? Maybe we get nothing. It's very probable. I think he has all the three stars. We could check. Oh, wait, me. Hold on. Maybe some of those were new. Because he's missing this. He's missing this. Okay. Not really anything we need. He's missing. Uh, that one? Oh, he's always missing a dark inferno. What else is he missing? Oh, he's missing both the, both the bagels. Well, missing a he's missing some things that are from secret dungeons. Okay. Contra is angry. They're like, how could you be playing so long? You didn't even get the things from the secret dungeons. So some of those might have been new. I don't even know. Okay, first lightning at five. Oh, it's a uh, Hall of Heroes, sadly. 
<laughs> Welcome to Summoner's War. Do you get a lightning? It's a hall of heroes. Second lightning. Another hall of heroes. Oh my god. People even buy LD anything. I think a lot of people are sm uh, smart enough to not buy them anymore. <laughs> not everyone, but you know, uh, a lot of people. It's so, it's so insane. It's so insane. I take partial responsibility. I've been promoting this game for years now. Not, not that I, I don't, I don't work for them. I'm just saying I've been promoting it by doing videos. Anyone that does videos or like does social media or anything that, uh, like that, that's, that's still promoting the game. I just now notice his his little lapels and his eyeglasses are different. Werewolf. We don't need these. Please something good. Please something good. Please something good. Please not a hall of heroes. Please. Please some crazy good. Please. Please. Why does this game hate everyone? It's not the game. It's <laughs> it's the developers. Why does Calm to Us hate everyone? Because it's profitable to hate everyone. Congratu that's a, I really like uh, Fire Poseidon balls. I really like Okeanos. Hey, we're on a roll. Hold on. Hold on. We're a little. We were a little short. <laughs> we were a little short. All right. As soon as we get the legendaries, we get some of these Nat Fives. Fantastic. We still could get. Oh, we only have one. Eh, we we could get something. Oh, we also do have a cookie cookie monster. We could get LD from there. It's technically possible. Fire Fire Robo is a solid unit. Underrated unit. Underrated unit. Too many people. Just look at tier list and they're like, okay, that's the only things, only the things at the very top of the tier list are the only ones that are usable. It's like, that's, that's not, that's not how those work. <laughs> that's, that's just about uh, power and efficiency. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best unit in the entire game. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the one that you need to summon and then pick in every match. You see some of the best players in the entire, uh, in all of World Arena. All of World Arena, Shadow Legends, um, picking some things that are that are middle of the tier list, low on the tier list, and winning with them. Maybe people, maybe people don't see that because if they saw that, then they would understand that it's not just about picking whatever things is at the top of the tier list. If you pick the things at the top of the tier list and the synergy is not correct, and the opponent counters you uh, effectively, then it doesn't really matter what's where in the tier list. Let's see uh, if they already had. I know they didn't have Oki, right? Okay, they didn't have Oki. And then what else? They get, they got a non- Oh, the non- oh. <sighs> Let's see. I want to see if you guys thought that Nana was worth keeping a dupe of. We'll see. Uh, this is not it. We're looking for the dupe pole. Dupe pole. Jack o' lantern. Let's go find Nana. Where is Fire Joker? Where's Nana? Uh, keep dupe for- Oh! <laughs> okay. uh, like 80%. 80% of people uh, keep dupe. So, he could always- If he doesn't want to keep it, he could always feed it after the video. And he'll summon, I'm sure, after that. Let's actually take a look at uh, 
Bulwark. So Bulwark is also, he's around 60% would uh, voted to keep. So again, if he wants to feed for blessings, he can feed for blessings uh, when he gets his account back. And then whatever Nat 5 comes out uh, after that. Ooh! So oh, he's got some solid units! Some solid units. Hold on, let's... Uh, Dominic right now, I feel like it's so worth... Again, is another worth... Uh, oh my god, he's got the RTA starter kit! He's got the RTA starter kit! He's got the RTA starter kit! Oh, th this is another... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're gonna feed this bulwark. We're gonna feed this bulwark. We're gonna feed him. We're gonna feed him. Oh my goodness! Oh, were these transcendent scrolls? It feels like they're transcendent scrolls. Okay, we'll feed this bulwark. This bowel fork. Actually, if we feed this one. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh. What else? What is new? What is new? What is dupe? Are these all? Am I just not see? Okay, I, f I think that a lot of these are actually new. Well, we did say that he's only like two thirds of them are going to be new for him, so that shouldn't be that surprising. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. We we made up for the the dryness in the beginning. The dryness in the beginning. I don't want to make <laughs> I don't want to comment on it. I don't want to comment. Okay, LD5. Let's go. Oh, cookie. Okay. What do we get? Win cookie, win Madeline. All right, two transcend. Well, uh, f four actually, four transcendence. Let's see. Definitely popping the blessing here. I mean, obviously that's how these blessings work. Both are new. Does he do RTA? If he does RTA, then we pick segment. Okay, we're not picking segment. <laughs> We're gonna pick Alicia. I'm gonna use better judgment. I think he said use better judgment. I'm gonna pick Alicia. I think that the way he plays, he's gonna like Alicia more though. But if he did RTA, I would have picked Segment. Actually, Alicia's got a really good win rate right now in RTA. Actually, higher than Segment. So yeah. Is this new or is this dupe? New or dupe? I don't know what I'm doing. He already has a Camila. Already has a Camila. Okay, so uh, I, f I don't, I don't think Camila's gonna have that high of a feed for blessing. Eighty-three percent, eighty-two percent, eighty-two percent feed for blessing. So that means we actually get two. We already had a Camila, right? Why do I need? To, why do I just? Yeah, we looked at her runes. Accidentally clicks Alicia. Everyone cries. We have some hard decisions to make here. Two more! Hard decisions. Let's go. Wait, should I be excited about hard decisions? One of them is new, one of them is a dupe. So, there we go. Congratulations, another new unit. Wind Mage has uh, gotten, I, I don't have one. I don't have one on any account uh, from what people that own the Wind Mage. New over dupe every time. I feel like we made out pretty well. <laughs> That's what I say after my dates. I feel like we made out pretty well. And then my girlfriend's like, no, you're still bad at it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, you're so, you're so nice. 
it's just honest. It's just honesty. All right. So what do we uh, what do we actually get here? We got well, we did feed some of them, right? We fed two of them. Feed two or feed three? Uh, Camille, we had a bowel fork. No, we fed two and we got three blessings, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus the other ones that we that we fed. Not bad. I feel I feel well I, aside from the LDs, we didn't really get a, a lot of great stuff out of the LDs. But for the other ones, went pretty well. And and pretty these are pretty solid units. RTA starter bag. Look at this. One two, well, he, he already had this. So one, two. Okay, just <laughs> just the two. Because again, he already had the uh Oh, he's got this one too. And he doesn't do RTA. I don't, not that I blame him for not doing RTA. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you guys are 50 minutes. Oh, 50 minutes. All right, guys, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.